before we start today's episode, I just want to pay respects to a friend that I lost two weeks ago, John Peter Shermack. He's only 36 and had lost his life to a brain aneurysm. Um, he leaves behind a wife and a two-year-old daughter. You know, the, the news is still surreal. You know, I still look at the videos and pictures we have together, and it's just crazy, honey. You know, it saddens me that I, I couldn't be there. It was just a short notice. I couldn't be there to be by your side like I was when you were in the hospital for your, your other surgery because you already know I would have been right there, my man. But may you rest in peace, and uh, you're going to be missed, my man. You're going to be missed. You are now listening to Yad at the Podcast, hosted by West Coast Rob. With summer in full swing, and you out there at the pools and the beaches, showing off the bod, showing off the fly swimsuits, you need a fly pair of shades to go along with that and just set the bar extra high. So check out BlendersEyewear.com for some of the flyest, most affordable shades out there on the market. Blenders Eyewear delivers the world's coolest and most affordable eyewear that inspires people to live life in forward motion. Made in my hometown of San Diego, California, go out there and support local businesses and small businesses. So check out BlendersEyewear.com, use promo code WESTCOASTROB, that's one word, and save you some money. BlendersEyewear.com, promo code WESTCOASTROB. Yeah, that. What's new, boppers? I've always wanted to do that. So if you don't know where that reference is from, you're two things. One, young as a motherfucker. But I'll let that one slide because the movie came out before I was even born. But the second one, though, two, you're not cultured, homie. You know what I mean? You're not cultured, and you ain't in movies like that. That reference is from the Warriors, you know what I'm saying? The OG, triple OG, quadruple OG movie about gangs and sets and shit and crews and all that, man. If you haven't seen the Warriors, man, just, what? Why? Why? You know I mean, Baseball Furies, like, come on, probably the, the hardest looking crew in the whole the whole movie, but probably the weakest crew, but they were hard, man. You know what I'm saying? They just look those the costumes, that was just hard, the baseball furies. But anyway, that's a reference to the DJ in the movie The Warriors, you know what I'm saying? Warriors. Yeah, Warriors. Probably one of the best games out on uh, PlayStation 2 as well. That Warriors game was fire. Shout out to Miho, you know what I'm saying? My my boy Fish Dick, you know what I'm saying? Putting me onto the onto the Warriors and shit. That shit. If you haven't seen it, go go watch it. If you like old school like movies, like Blood In Blood Out type, Warriors is Warriors is legit. It takes place in I believe it's like late seventies, early eighties. Warriors is legit, man. Check that shit out. You might even recognize some actors in it. But anyway, welcome back to another episode of Yad at the podcast, hosted by yours truly. West Coast Roberto, it's me. It's been a minute since we uh since we did an episode. It's been about almost a month, probably about three. Now it's been three weeks, three weeks. You know, and I'm usually one that's consistent when it comes to the podcast and the episodes and stuff like that. So I apologize right now for the lack of consistency in regards to the podcast. You know, for this last episode we did, we had a. Uh, adult film star Jackson Wheeler on as a guest you know and I I tried new things I had uh I actually recorded uh uploaded the video and posted that on YouTube if you haven't seen that yet go on to YouTube and type yet at the podcast or type West Coast Rob and then watch it man there's some funny stuff in that too funny little uh non-scripted outtakes so I highly I highly recommend you going to watch the actual interview and if you if you don't want to watch it just i mean go give it a listen there's a lot of interesting stuff we got to know jackson um his where he's from his upbringing um 
excuse me, and then how he pursued his his uh, adult film ventures, and uh, it was pretty pretty interesting. He gave us a lot of insights of the adult industry as well. Now, for Jackson, for those of you who haven't seen the episode, um, Jackson, he's known for like the male male scenes, and however, he's he's a straight male. You know, and that, for those of you who don't know, that's a common thing in the industry. But if you want to know more about it, go listen to the episode or go watch it on YouTube. You already know. So that was the last episode. And, uh, you know, with the with the podcast, when I don't have a guest, I'm, I'm thinking about doing like a different type of format. Because in the past, I was going to I would have like specific topics that I would you know, just try to stay on track with and talk about. But, you know, I've been kind of, I guess, doing my podcast homework, per se. I've been listening to a lot of podcasts because, one, I love them. Two, I love them. And then, three, you can just learn from all the different genres and all the different types of podcasts out there. And it's crazy. To me, it's crazy how podcasts are, like, big because... All it is is talk radio from back in the day. Back in the day when radio was big, like actual radio, when you had to record music on a cassette tape from the radio. You know what I'm saying? So all my all my older, middle-aged folk out there know what I'm talking about. You would you would flip through channels, you know what I mean, looking for your favorite channel, whether it was 90.3, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to old school jam z90 back in the day in san diego yeah that or whatever whatever and then sometimes like like on the am stations like no one listened to am but on the am you would hear like the the talk radio shows you know and like no one really listened to those except for like the older people but now if you really think about it it's crazy how stuff comes full circle and if you really think about it stuff does come full circle from fashion to trends to cars to shoot everything is full circle so you have radio shows back in the day and now when you're on your way to work and you're not listening to a podcast and you're not listening to music on your your bluetooth stereo in your car or whatever and you're you're listening to a radio show like say you want to listen to espn it's a radio show that's crazy i mean it's it's just crazy how stuff comes full circle and the reference to the the boppers and the Warriors DJ kind of reminded me of it because I don't know what brought the Warriors to mind, but I saw it and I watched it. And just the DJ part was just like, man, that's so cool because that's just like, just basically, a, it's like a podcast. It's just crazy. It's crazy to me. Whatever, whatever. But anyway, in regards to the podcast, I'm just thinking about, like I said, I would have topics. I would just go over the topics, specific topics, whether it was two, three, or four, or whatever, and then just strictly, like, cover a topic, and then go from there, but I don't know, to me, I don't know, I've kind of been really analyzing my podcast, and because I enjoy doing it, I love it, whether you listen to it or not, whether I have millions of followers, or I have 10 followers i don't i don't care i'm still going to continue to do it because i love it so i've been really trying to think about the podcast and where i want to go with it and i just think i'm going to do um just basically talk whatever talk about whatever the fuck i want which i i really have been in regards to like the episodes without a guest but i don't know i just felt like the ones the prior episodes that i didn't have guests on they were more so topic driven vice me just kind of gallivanting and ranting or whatever which I mean I guess it's good sometimes and sometimes it isn't but I don't know we'll see we'll see with with how this episode goes but I think that's kind of the the way I'm gonna start pursuing these the episodes without a guest so but yeah that's that but so for me I don't know I guess I kind of like maybe covering or recapping what's 
going on in my life or I don't know just whatever as I sip water out of this Seattle Seahawks cup mind you I'm not a Seattle Seahawks fan however I'll root for them because I spent time in Washington State in the greater Seattle area and loved it in there love it up there I don't a lot of people I know and I talk to don't love that area I just I don't know what there isn't to love about it I mean except for like the weather is it's gray a lot and it rains but it's not rain like consistent like torrential downpours it's just like a misty rain but you get used to the shit then in the summer times it's fucking beautiful god there's a lot to do out there i just love the pack northwest but you know seahawks i guess that like you can say it's my second team but i'm a Chargers fan all day long but my wife and my my youngest daughter seahawks fan so sipping out of the seahawks cup Reminds me that uh, football starts today. You know, first day of preseason. Two games, two teams. Two games, four teams. I don't give a fuck about, but whatever. I'm going to watch it. Probably the first two quarters to see prospects. And then once halftime hits, then it's over for me. But, so the last week, this past week for me, actually this past, it ha- it's been like a long two weeks, it seems like. One, because... Uh, I've been on ROM, so in the military, ROM is essentially quarantine. So, you know, with the with COVID and the Delta variant going, um, escalating everywhere in areas. The area I'm currently located in, it's it's starting to numbers starting to rise. And I had went to a meeting on Thursday, and apparently someone at the meeting I didn't even sit at the table. I was like in a chair. Like you, there's a a big room, conference room, big ass table in the middle, fucking chairs around it, and then there's chairs around the room. I was in one of them chairs off to the side, kind of back in the back. You know what I mean? But the fact that I was in that room, you know, I guess I was exposed because somebody in there popped positive with uh, COVID, and this was before. They made us start wearing masks like 100% again inside the buildings. <clears throat> Excuse me. But because of that, I had to ROM for 10 days, which was worked out perfectly because I had family come into town. Now, I don't know who the person was. I wasn't close to any of the people in there, but the fact that I was in the same room with all them people, there was probably 20 people in there. Uh, we all had to run for 10 days, which, like I said, worked out perfectly because I had family coming to town. You know, I had my my little sister and her husband come into town. Shout out to them. You know what I mean? Love y'all. Um, and they came into town for my youngest daughter's birthday, which my youngest daughter turned 11 years old um, two weeks ago, which is crazy to me because I remember when she was just a freaking pretty ass little baby. And now she's 11 with the soul of a 40 year old. So she'd be getting RKO'd all the time by me and choke slam and tombstone pile drivers and shit. You know what I mean? So I keep her in her place. But uh, my family came into town and uh, and we celebrated her birthday. It was it was a very good time. I mean, it sucked that my my uh, my sister and my brother in law were only here for a few days. I wish they could have stayed longer, but you know they're busy people. You know, they work, they had to go back to the crazy state of Florida, which I now claim as my home. You know, that's where I spent most of my time. That's where I met my wife. That's where my daughters were born. That's um, most likely where I'll end up um, retiring after I'm done with what I'm doing. But yeah, they had to go back and uh, get back on the grind. But the time they were here was cool, man. We, uh, We went to a water park for my my daughter's birthday which i haven't been to a water park in years like i don't even remember the last time i went to a water park actually and man water parks are so fucking expensive my god so for for one now i guess now that i'm older and that i have the ability to you know, buy things and, and stuff like that. I, uh, we were looking into it probably about a week or two prior to, to my family coming in 
so my wife she uh she brought up the idea she's like why well, we should get a cabana that way we can have our own space you know i'm saying woo, woo, woo. and i'm like yeah that's a great idea so we started looking they offered there was like three different ones with views of like water and then there was one with views of nothing so i was like i want views of something so we got the cabana with the view of the wave pool which was legit when we got there it was legit because it was there was somebody sitting like policing who came in and out you needed a wristband to get in there um you got free meals free towels you got your own little space you got a lot your free locker that came with it now i say free but all this is included with the price of course i know this which the price was fucking five hundred dollars for a cabana five hundred dollars it's like my god that's a lot of money but all in all it was worth it and then uh my neighbors who i'll I'll talk about here in a little bit they actually went on the same day as a coincidence and they had a cabana but they didn't have a view because they were off in the little in the little kids section because they have a little one and but theirs was i think he said theirs was 400 but that's because they they joined and they got like the season pass thing which we'll eventually end up doing and paying 400 dollars which is still a lot of money but whatever it was worth it you know i mean it came with the food vouchers and all that stuff and uh i don't know it was it was a good time it was great to have that cabana all in all is what i was trying to say it was really great to have it because if not then you'd have to go and find beach chairs throw your towels and shit on them go walk around the park come back hopefully your towels and shit are still on the chair and some ignorant motherfucker didn't just throw them down and claim them as their own i mean we didn't have to we didn't want to deal with all that and then plus having like bags and you know belongings having to go to a locker that's on the other side of the park from where your beach chairs are and stuff i mean it's just it alleviated that whole that whole uh situation so I highly recommend getting a gazebo or or whatever. But just prepare to break that bread. And it's crazy because there was a lot of... So we went early. Like we went... So the park opened at 11 or 10. And we got there probably around 11, 15. Which was good. Good timing. You know, I got... I paid for the premium freaking parking, which was close, closer to the gate. So I wasn't trying to make that hike. Um, got in there. wasn't that many people in there. Um, got went to the went to the spot. I was like, all right, cool, cool. Then as the day went on, the place was packed. Man, all the all the gazebo things were sold out too. And I think when, by the time we got ours, it was like the second to last one available. So good thing we got ours. But throughout the day, we're going in and out, back and forth through the little gated part and just people are just walking up wanting to to get one and you know people are just walking up to the lady she's like yo can i get one of those gazebos blah blah blah. she's like no you got to reserve them you had to reserve them ahead of time online woo, woo. people are just like nah man I, I have money right now i can pay for it right now blah 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 it was just crazy it was just no we were real fortunate that we had it but it was packed it was a saturday of course you know what I mean? saturday summertime it was packed full of food, or full of food, full of fools is what I'm going to say, I guess. Packed full of people, you know, came time to eat, you know, kids when they're, when they're playing and they're doing water stuff, they don't want to eat. You got to, you got to make a meal. Like, come on, let's go eat. So we went and ate, went and got in line for food. You know, lines weren't too bad, but by the time we got to the front of the lines, there was no fucking food. And to me, it's just like how is this possible like one your amusement park it's summertime y'all know y'all gonna have a lot of people why don't y'all have food i mean they had food but they didn't have the food we wanted like i wanted a cheeseburger there was like a i wanted a bacon cheeseburger oh yeah a bacon cheeseburger but we got to the front and there was no burgers so then 
wife was my wife was like, "Do y'all have any burgers?" The lady's like, "No, we're out. We're out." Like what? I was like, "What?" I gave him the the, the face, the the gonchi face. Like what? What you mean you're out? So then my wife was like, "What about over there on the other side?" The girl goes over there, grabs one, brings it back. Boom! It's a burger. Just a burger, not a cheeseburger. Burger. I'm like, yo, you ain't got no cheeseburgers. So they say, oh, it's gonna be a a five minute wait. Ooh, ooh. Meanwhile, they're they're like, they have chicken strips and other typical like easy cook amusement park shitty food, like pizza slices and cheese pizza slices and shit like that. So we're waiting. And I'm like, yo, you have a you have any bacon burgers? Like, oh, we're out of bacon. I'm like, you had a bacon? Like, my God. So my wife was like, so we're in the front of the line. We're holding this line up, and I don't care. The lady behind me has her two kids, and she's like, oh, like, I'm just trying to get a burger. I was like, oh, yeah, it's a five-minute wait. So I end up leaving. My wife stays there. She's like, y'all, just wait here, and then uh, you go and take this over there to to my youngest my oldest went with my my sister and uh, my brother-in-law they went to another spot i think they were they had better luck but the lines were long it was just strictly chicken in that spot so long story short we ended up getting i think we ended up <laughs> we ended up getting uh two cheeseburgers and then wifey just ended up like snatching fries and shit so it all worked out but just the fact that a place like that ran out of uh ran out of food like temporarily it's just like to me it's like that's poor management man like you know what I mean if that was my spot no way that would happen no way but um, water park was cool I was exhausted the one thing I didn't get um when we went to the park prior to was the the quick line shit it was, my, it was our first time going to the park so I didn't get the like the skip the line thing because one, it was certain rides you were only able to do that one time, uh, one time that day for certain rides. So like for example, say this ride and this ride, you use your fast pass. You can't use it anymore because you've already used it. And then all the other rides was unlimited. So I was like, I wonder. I don't know if that was legit because what if it's a ride I want to fucking. I want to ride and just keep going and keep going and I can only do it one time and then I have to wait in line like that what's the point of that however should have did it because I don't know how many rides there were in that park but I think we rode four and one of them the last one we rode which was the best one which is one of those ones where it's like it was a group of four and then you you ride on the big ass fucking frisbee looking raft and it's like that big U thing y'all know what i'm talking about if y'all been to uh water parks that was the best ride there but that line the wait in that line was damn near like an hour and some change man an hour and some change and after that i was done tired like it was we were in line so long there was a group of of ladies in front in front of this single guy in front of my brother-in-law. So my brother-in-law was in the front, my two daughters and then me in the back. My sister and my wife, they weren't they weren't about it, so they went back to, to the uh, gazebo. Then there was this dude in front of my brother-in-law by himself. Now mind you, this is a four person ride, minimum of two people. And he's just like randomly saying random stuff. Like, like all right, bro. He had some long ass toenails too. This is like, Fool, your toenails are like abnormally long. Like, what the? F- the you need to cut them things. But anyway, in front of him, there was a group of four, uh, four ladies. So two of them went out of line. Two of them stayed in line. And then uh, the other two, I guess they ended up leaving as well. So we're we're slowly chugging along in this line, and I see the four girls. Uh, all meet up because the two that got out of line first went to the the fast line fast pass line thing got some of them shits i guess they bought four gave them to the other two homegirls then they all walked up and just went right by us boom and i was just like smart that was so freaking smart 
And by the time, well, by the time we got up there, and it was our time to ride, they could have rode the shit like three, four times. That's how long we were in line. But but before we got up there, the dude with the with the long talons, man. So we're we're like two steps away from like being next. And I'm looking. I'm like, yo, the sign says minimum of two people on this ride. I was like, who's this dude gonna ride with? So he gets on, or this couple gets on in, in front of him, and then it's him by himself. And then lifeguard's like, yo, so you gotta have somebody else. So dude looks at us like, oh, one of y'all, y'all wanna ride? I'm like, fool, I have four here. Like, what do you mean? Do I wanna ride with y'all, with you? Like, no, fool, I am riding with you. He asks, he starts going down the line. I'm like, like what? Like, what are you doing, homie? Like, no, no one wants to ride with you, fool. Like everyone is with their fam or their their lady or their man. Like, what? No. Like, you waited in line for an hour, some change. Like, I'm tripping, homie. Anyway, got on the ride. Best ride we rode that day. And then uh, I was pretty done after that. Went back to the fucking gazebo, chopped it up with my neighbors because they had stopped by to say hello. We had some dipping dots, and then uh, a little wave pool action. And then we uh we went on home, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, the water park was cool, man. Um, I'm glad it, it turned out the way it did. My my youngest daughter's birthday was was pretty good. She got a trampoline too, man. So she had an ex- a pretty expensive birthday, which isn't the first time either one of them has had an expensive birthday because you know I grew up, and as well as my wife, you know I grew up not having shit. I mean, my mom, my mom did what she had to do to provide, put food on her table. But there was times where we were just poor and we didn't have nothing. We didn't even have lights in our house. I mean, having to light the house with candles. That's how we, we managed and got through nights. But I'll I'll probably tell my story on, on another episode. But, you know, I grew up not having much. So I always told myself and my wife, I was like, hey, they're not gonna, they're not gonna, know what it's like to be to have to deal with that and uh however i don't want them to be these spoiled little biatches which they're not they're not but sometimes i gotta i gotta fucking realign them and put them back in check because they can they want to act like that but it was an expensive birthday you know she got a trampoline because she's a gymnast and now i mean she loves that thing she's been bothering me about a trampoline for months i think ever since the year the beginning of the year so she got a trampoline she went to the to the water park she had a a nothing bunt cake if you haven't had one of those oh my god nothing bunt cake is fire my god and the reason we got her a nothing bunt cake is because really i wanted it but we got her a confetti one man i love that place so if nothing if someone who is listening to this podcast works at nothing bunt cake please sponsor me please i love that place and if you don't if you try it and you don't like it when well then i will fight you because there's something wrong with you that place is legit fire but she got another bun cake man oh i think i'm gonna give me give me one this weekend but uh got the got the trampoline water park she got some other stuff too i just can't remember but it was all in all a good day good good time family came into town which was cool you know they love their auntie and their uncle so um it was a good time man it's a good time but uh that was that for that was what a week and, a week and a half ago so meanwhile i'm still on rom i mean this whole time so you know I mean? i'm i'm quarantined and and whatnot mind you I'm enjoying the time, I mean, the time, uh, the time off or whatever. Um, I was, I wasn't really bored, but when you're, you know, when you're off from work for a long period of time, you start getting in that mode, like that mentality is like, ah, I love this shit. Like, I don't even, I want to go back to work ever again. And that's, that kind of hit me because it's like, when it came closer to it, it's like, ah, oh, I gotta shave my face. Oh, I gotta wake up early. I don't wanna do, I don't wanna do any of this. I don't wanna put this on. I don't wanna make that drive, but it is what it is. Uh, it is what it is. As well as uh, when um, this whole time off, 
you know, when, when I'm off, I'm like, all right, cool. I get to, it seems like I have so much time to do all the stuff I want to do. Like, oh man, I get to, I'm about to work out. I'm about to ride my bike. I'm about to do my podcast. I'm about to do an ass ton of podcasts. I'm about to do all kinds of crap. But then when it comes time, well, when it's the next day and you you wake up, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I think I'm just going to play the game. So you end up playing fucking FIFA 21 for like seven hours. And that was the majority of my time off. My diet was terrible. Uh, working out, I probably worked out one day, skipped like three or four days and worked out again and then did some BS workout and then rode my bike and then you know what I mean so I, I really got I really got fat and just lazy during this time off <laughs> no I'm scared but but no no it was it was all good in regards to to my diet and, and my workout stuff it could have been better but whatever you know what I mean I'm not competing right now I thought about it but not happening so you know what I've just been living. Been living. Life is life. People take life for granted, man. You know what I mean? And I've recently lost a homie like I already covered before. You know, it's like one day you're here and then the next day you're not. So I've just been living. Like I said, you know. And then when it comes to work, it's like people always get it mixed up because you don't live to work. I mean, you work to live with that marinade a little bit people get it mixed up man you know you're you're not here to work i mean you work so you can have a better way of life you do stuff to help provide in your life you know what i mean so i've just been living i've been enjoying a lot of stuff um so i got i got some new neighbors you know uh we've been in my current house since well we've been here about my four, four or five months, and uh, my neighbors uh, at the time, they were, they were to themselves. It was this, this old couple. Just, they weren't old, but they're older than me. But it was just a couple, you know, just a couple, and they're two pugs. And they, they told my wife, like uh, the wife was like, "Oh yeah, you know, we're, we're selling, we're moving to Vegas." Woo woo. Like, all right, cool, cool, you know. So now it's just like, fuck. Who's going to move in? Who's going to move in? I mean, it's like, we're hoping we get some good some good neighbors and not some, some motherfuckers who are just loud and not fucking considerate of their neighbors and fucking parking in front of your house and leaving shit out and just, you know what I mean? Your dog is shitting in my backyard. Just, you know what I mean? Just... We were hoping that it wasn't any obnoxious neighbors, and we couldn't have asked for some better neighbors, man. We got, we got some, uh, we got some some bomb ass neighbors, man. You know, uh, family as well. They had their, they have a, a family, they have daughters, so it's cool. We got one on the way, so been been hanging out with the neighbors a lot, man. Cool motherfuckers, man. Both, of them. God, cool, cool, man. And then. uh you know, I've been on, like I said, I've been off work, so I've been kicking it with them. Not every day, but, you know what I'm saying, a lot. Uh, daughters have, have been playing, so we're fortunate to have some great neighbors. And, uh, <laughs> I don't know, I guess with the time off, uh, we've been drinking a lot. I told my, so my wife and I, we're like, yo, during the week, we don't drink, all right? We don't drink during the week. Just her and I, because when her and I drink, we'll take shots and stuff and you know we, we just be kicking it you know what I mean so we're like oh we're not gonna drink during the week just, let's keep it at that and the weekends that's when we we chill you know what I mean we digress from the from the work week and and the practices and all that stuff um so last last weekend we went a little hard in the paint <laughs> we went hard in the paint and we're, we were feeling it the next day man and then my wife she uh she went into work. This was on Sunday. She went into work on Monday. I don't know what. I don't know what we were thinking. 
It's like once we start taking shots, then it's just like, all right, we take one, and it's like, all right, let's take another. Bam, two. I fuck that. Keep going. Three. Bam. Next one, four. Bam. Next thing we know, we're four down, four shots of tequila down. So we're like, all right, cool. Because usually we take shots and we just, and we, that's it. We're just, and we're chilling around the house, you know, playing Uno with the girls or whatever. So, you know, girls are out, are out back, chilling on trampoline. Um, our neighbors were outside, you know. And then, of course, you know, my man comes, comes over, hands me a little drink. I'm like, cool. And then my wife, she's one. She she has a, a high tolerance, but man, I, I don't know. I guess the the four shots of tequila, man, they RKO that ass because she was out there. You can just see it slurring and done, done. I mean, she wasn't ob- not like she wasn't that obnoxious drunk chick, but no, nah, I, I can tell. I was like, dang, okay. She's she's pretty she's pretty gone, and she I know she felt it the the next day at work. Because uh, some stuff happened, and, and she didn't get in trouble or nothing. But I mean, she felt it. You know what I mean? But I'm eager to see how it's gonna play out this weekend. See how hard she wants to go in the paint. But my neighbors, though, cool people. Uh, can't wait to grow. Watch their watch their daughters grow with my, with my daughters, and uh, you know, just build a relationship there. Because we had uh, in Washington State, we had some bomb ass neighbors and we were just accustomed to you know what boom girls pick the girls up from school they already done all their homework girls go out to play with the neighbors the blood the, all the neighborhood kids on our street would just go and play i would open the garage door you know what i'm saying sit in my chair my neighbor would come over he would bring a fucking uh his growler over or if we were drinking liquor and we would just kick it. Then my wife would come out. She'd kick it with us. Then uh, my neighbor's wife would come come home from work. And she was a nurse also. That's crazy. She was a nurse also. And uh, with my current neighbors, my new neighbors, one's a nurse. But she would come home from work and it'd just be a big thing. More, more parents would come. So we had that in Washington State for about, about what, three, three years. And then we moved to Texas. And it wasn't, we we didn't have that in Texas. We had good neighbors, mind you. We had some really, really good neighbors. But the the girls didn't have that, you know, they didn't have the, the friends to go play with. And then we weren't chilling with our neighbors drinking like that. So to have that, again, not promoting alcohol, not promoting drinking or nothing like that. It's just, you know, that, that socialization amongst the, the girls. And then just us being able to, socialize and hang out and grill and and uh you know drink while they're out playing and i mean carefree it's that's all a good time and that's that's what life is about i mean having those those moments and having those that time i mean but yeah so yeah i mean that's that's kind of what's been going on with me man you know not being I think I've been at work. I think my first real day at work was yesterday, actually. Yeah. Yeah. It was yesterday was my first day back. Today was a short day. I had a meeting and then that was it. And then I have a day tomorrow. Hopefully it's not a long day. Do a little community service and then come home and yeah, be good. So can't complain. The past couple of weeks have been been good. They seem long, but they've been good, man. I've been chilling, you know. Uh been smashing food however so i mean I, I say i've been smashing food but i my wife and i we intermittent fast so we don't eat until after until one o'clock every day we stop eating at nine every night so it's 16 8 shit which that shit works though man like we first tried it and it, it really works it really works so you know we're intermittent fasting and um when we are in our window of eating, we don't smash like that. We don't we don't eat a bunch of junk. However, comma, I have been fucking I've been pigging out sometimes. Like the other day. Like for instance, my my dinner last night was a bag of hot Cheetos. Why? That's what I felt like. Don't judge me. My metabolism's good. You know what I'm saying? I can do that. Most of y'all can't. But I had a bag of hot Cheetos last night, and I, was, I think I was good. I think I ate 
I ate one real meal last night, and that's when I came home from work, and I didn't eat that until I didn't eat that till like three something actually, because I didn't leave work. Yeah, I didn't eat until like about three thirty, three forty-five, and that was the one meal I really had. And then it's just it was water throughout the day. I did I work out yesterday. I worked out yesterday. Yeah, and then no, I did not work out yesterday. See there. I didn't work out yesterday and then I had a bag of hot Cheetos it wasn't a whole bag it was like the bottom quarter of like a family size bag so I I pummeled that and that was around that was like around eight o'clock yeah because I remember I went and hopped on the game again on that FIFA and it was like 8:49, and I was like I don't, I'm not eating so my diet hasn't been as up to par as I would like to like it to have be have been or like it to be but I'm all right I'm walking around currently last time I got on the scale was last week and I was at 238 so which is crazy because I was thinking about this today I'm walking around at 238 like easily easily 238 uh i think my peak this year has been 242 but i'm not like trust me i'm not fat like i feel fat sometimes and i look i'm like damn i'm fat but no i'm not fat like in comparison to some people who are fat like no disrespect to y'all but i I don't well let me rephrase i'm not i'm not overweight or whatever whatever but i'm saying you if you look at me people people think i'm in better shape than i am how about that let's put it like that people look at me and be like oh yeah you look i've been told i look healthy i look like i'm in shape but i'm hell nah i'm not in shape hell nah i'm not in shape uh but yeah so i'm i'm walking around at 238 and i just remember like a couple years ago i was like i was 220 and i was like man I, my goal is 230 235 like so that's where i'm trying to hit and like right now it's like damn, i'm easily walking around at 238 and it's easy so when it when it is time for me to cut down and prep man oh, watch out watch out but i'm not in shape whatsoever i'm startingly and i'm i'm startingly i'm starting and gradually uh upping my cardio so like my bike i love my bike i i haven't uh rode it as much as i did in texas this is a new bike too this this isn't the same bike i had in texas i got this bike my current bike my truck madone i got uh towards the latter end of texas before we moved but prior to that i had my specialized and i was riding that mug like crazy so now new area this cycling is big up here too so i've i've been riding it but i got like a little i kind of noticed i got like a little phobia i guess because i took my bike to trek got it all tuned up you know what i'm saying bells and whistles cleaned and all that sh- all that stuff and then took it out on a ride and that's the day for those of you who follow me on ig and all that i got the flat tire and i was like damn what the first day out and i got a freaking flat which that i've never had a flat ever since i started cycling uh, i've had riding partners get flats and all that but me i've been fortunate enough to never have a puncture or whatever and me like you know i'm fairly new to the cycling the cycling thing i've been doing it for about a year now because i started in covid but uh i don't i don't know how to change a fucking uh my flat i mean i can learn it seems easy because they have videos online and all that stuff so it seems fairly easy to do but ever since i got that flat like i've had opportunities to go ride because i mean it's easy to ride like i, I rode one day uh, that was a nice ass ride. I'm actually thinking about riding that today, but it's fucking hot. But anyway, but yeah, there have been opportunities for me to ride early in the mornings when like traffic is is like light. But in my mind, when my wife is at work, it's just like ah, I, I want to ride, but then I don't want to get a puncture because then if I get a puncture, she's at work. But then it's like okay, man, I know I can call my neighbor. He'd come get me, but then I don't want to have to disturb him and be a burden for anybody. I was like, man, I need to get some spares and learn how to change my tires. So I don't really ride 
Like now I don't really write until my wife gets home. Just in case I need to get picked up. You know what I mean? But I don't know. I gotta get that out of my mindset. Out of my mind. But yeah. I'm not in shape. However, I will be. You know what I'm saying? Especially they keep pushing this, uh they keep pushing pushing our PRT back. So our PRT was our PRT was our physical readiness test in the military it was where we we have to meet a certain for our age group we have to uh, meet a certain standard for push-ups. Uh, now it's planks, not sit-ups. Push-ups, planks, and then your cardio, which is either run, bike, swim, or row machine. And so our originally with COVID is the the schedule has been all kinds of out of whack. So. Our thing was supposed to be, the 10 week notice was supposed to be the first week of August, which it came out, but then come to find out, it's not till December, some shit like that. But anywho, I got plenty of time. I ain't worried about it. And yeah, but yeah, um, I want to give a big shout out to, uh, a big shout out to my, to my little big bro, man. Gonzalo, man, check out. He has a new, uh, he has a new podcast too called The Empty Orchestra, which is uh, a free form type podcast. They can talk about anything, man, just like this one. So if you if you dig this, then you'll dig that. But shout out to to uh, Gonzalo, man. I called that dude. I was talking to him last night about you know the podcast and and social media and stuff like that. And he's he's younger than I am, and he's a little more engaged in all of that stuff with like the gaming and, and the platforms and stuff and i don't know i i expressed my like i don't know my my reservations for for a lot of stuff because i've been getting a lot of people come up to me or not come up to me but hit me up saying i should create a tiktok and it's like i don't know man it just, it just seems kitty i don't know like no offense to those out there who have it but I don't know, I just, to me, I don't know if I would want to do a, a TikTok and just be constant. Because I see my daughter, my youngest daughter and my oldest, they're both on it. it. But they're on it, like, faithfully. And my youngest is constantly recording. I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, oh, I'm making a video. Whoa. Stop. I was like, all right. So she's, uh, everything she does, she's making a video. Making a, She's recording. She's making, she made grilled cheese with some tomato soup. Recorded it. She bit it and recorded it. She didn't. I was like, all right. Like the only thing is with that is like okay, I know like it's big. It, TikTok is big. Like watching like uh, soccer games, you see the advertisements for TikTok, and then just, it makes me think about uh, the the ocean spray dude, dog face man. Like full made a TikTok video and just blew up. So that's the only reason why I'm considering doing a TikTok is because the exposure you can get from it however the part of like the everything else from it is kind of like ah and if i do do it i'm not going to be one to be like i'm doing this strictly for hopefully i get likes or hopefully i get exposed or whatever whatever i would it'll be genuine just like i am with every other thing i have but and then if i were to to get exposure and blow up then cool but i don't know but I was just talking to my to my boy about like platforms and Twitch and YouTube and stuff like that. And you know, I have a YouTube channel, but I'm not consistent on it like that. Because uh, shout out to all the YouTubers out there, like the diehard, like the faithful, like that's your job, YouTube. Because that is taxing, man. Like recording like videos, like doing workouts. I'm trying to record while you work out, especially if you're doing it by yourself. That is a lot of work. It's a lot of work, and uh, that's why it turns it turns me off doing it. Maybe if I had a videographer, a videographer, then it'd be easier. But then just having somebody like in your way, I don't know. But I oh, talking talking to him. He brought he brought in a lot of uh, he brought in a lot of light and stuff in regards to that. So. Shout out to you, Conchi. And uh, yeah, man, that's this episode, man. I think that's how I'm going to wrap it up. And if you like it, you like it. And if you don't, oh, well. But thank you again. And uh, stay tuned, man. Stay tuned for more episodes of Yet at the Podcast, man. Thanks for listening. 
make sure you do what you got to do rate it comment leave me some comments drop me some messages the whole nine man something else goes rob i've had you long enough thank you for listening yeah that